one of my favorite things to cook on the big green egg is bacon wrapped barbecue quail, barbecue chicken, any kind of bird, turkey, it doesn't matter. I love cooking because it cooks so slow and it cooks so even. Lo and behold, if we don't have some quail right here, one of the greatest ways to cook these is to cut these in half. And when you cut these in half, you're gonna wrap these in bacon. Then you got legs, thighs, and the tenderloin on each side. And you're just gonna take a little bit of savory pecan seasoning, put it on there first. Don't be bashful with it. But right now we're gonna take this quail and we're gonna take a piece of bacon. And like I said, we cut it in half. So you just wanna take the bacon and roll it. And me, take a toothpick. One thing about bacon wrapped quail or anything bacon wrapped, you can't use too much bacon. A lot of the times to save your toothpicks, you take the one you ended with and the one you start with, toothpick it right there at the end and it is ready to go on the grill. So we came out, we lit the big green egg, we went in, we got our bacon wrapped quail ready to go. Hey, the egg's waiting on me. I'm at 350 degrees, absolutely perfect. You wanna cook these for about eight to 10 minutes a side or until the bacon is completely done. One thing about the big green egg, when I say they got everything you need for grilling out in the outdoors, they definitely have it. Even a meat thermometer. One thing with poultry or pork or anytime you're cooking meat that needs to make sure that it hits a certain temperature on the inside. Like these quail, you just turn it on, come in here, and we are at 122, holding pretty 23 right there. Usually pork needs to get up or, or poultry needs to get to about 165. So got a little ways to go. We've been about eight minutes. We're gonna flip them, barbecue them, check them one more time with the big green egg meat thermometer. So we got about three to five minutes left on the quail. To add a little spice to your quail, of course, the Vidalia onion sriracha sauce, of course, by the big green egg. Just take this, just baste it on there. And then we're gonna flip it after this cooks on this side a little bit, you can see these are looking fantastic. We'll base this on all of them. Get, you don't want to be bashful with this stuff. This stuff is so good and cover all the meat. And then we'll let that glaze on that side. A little bit right there. We'll let that glaze flip it over. Glaze the other side and they ought to be mm, good. So it's time to take the bacon wrapped quail off bacon wrapped glazed quail that is. Look at this. And I believe that these are gonna taste excellent. So now that we've finished our bacon wrapped quail, here's a little tip that may help you. So when it comes to choosing a rod, which rod, which situation, you know, that's kind of the tip of the day. We're gonna use a swim jig and we're gonna use a flipping stick. So here's the question, to where a top water rod you want, roughly a small top water, you want a 6.9 medium heavy, to where a big top water you want a 7.1, 7.4, something like that. These are all Johnny Mars carbon light rod and reels. You can get them at Bass Pro on a combo and it's fantastic because they just got great deals. Um, one of the biggest things is how fast and how heavy the rod is. If, if you're fishing heavy cover, you need something that's really gonna pull those fish out really out of that heavy cover to where if you're in real clear water and you're just kind of finesse fishing, you know, a 6.9 medium, medium heavy, 7.1 medium, medium heavy, where with a flipping stick, it's gonna be a 7.4 to a 7.6 heavy action so you can pull those fish out. Plus, you're probably gonna get a bigger bite if you're flipping. 